Hey guys, hi. Uh, so talking to you about Bitcoin and I've got two charts on here. One of them in gold is the Bitcoin chart. The other one, believe it or not, is ARK Innovation ETF. Kathy Woods, currently failing, had record withdrawals last month ETF. Now, what am I trying to do here? So many people go, oh, peak bear. That means it's a bottom for Bitcoin. Uh, this kind of material is typical near bottoms, etc, etc. And you're going to get it. It's going to be right there in the comments. All the people will say that. But I'm here to tell you that the next dip is going to be the most dramatic and the most complete and the most leveling. This is a Bolshevik communism capture globally. If that's to be the case, we will surpass the bearish events that occurred in 2016. Um, some time ago for ARK, which I'll be showing you in a later chart. But what I want to first show you on this chart, the key seminal chart, is the point of, that is the following. And the conclusion that I've come to in terms of how Bitcoin is being treated in price behavior. And this is within a certain time frame of data. It isn't necessarily eternal. It's how it is right now. And you can argue with this as much as you like. But Bitcoin right now, as I've said in my Twitter profile, which we can also get up here, um, whisper it real quietly. We are looking over here. Whisper real quietly. But, but right now, Bitcoin is a lagging. And I'll be showing you uh, a little bit why I say that. High beta proxy for a failing ETF run by Kathy Wood, which had record outflows last month. Lagging, higher beta, Kathy Wood's ETF, which is failing as far as I'm concerned, uh, and record outflows. Most investors in uh, Kathy Wood's uh, ETF has absolutely lost money, unless you were really, really early. The volume of people came in on the super pump that was grabbing all the headlines every day on YouTube, highest profile of all now significantly lower this is that big blow off period so i'm going to be showing you the year 2016 as well we will come back to that but let's finish on the key chart which is this 2020 event through to where we are today so the candles are the arc etf the gold line is bitcoin what I want to show you is in the beginning, the first mover. So this is very much a gold versus silver relationship. The first mover is gold. That means the ARK ETF, the failing ETF run by Kathy Woods, super hype, almost Elon Musk-esque profile a year or two ago, now super quiet um, and having record outflows, keeping a low profile, not nearly as big on the exponential hopium stuff, but still holding on to message that one day it comes. That arc was gold and started moving first, just like in every bull market in precious metals. The green line is showing you that relatively, and this is a percentage scale chart, that relatively the candles were moving ahead and beyond and faster. In fact, in percentage terms, Bitcoin really only got its mojo on reaching for the TG Pink roundabout here and only surpassed in percentage terms Kathy Wood uh, overall performance from the March 22 lows in percentage terms. This is a percentage scale, guys. So understand that uh, roughly in and around the end of the year, mid-December. So throughout that period, first, the leading indicator is ARK. The follower is Bitcoin. What then happened? The higher beta, silver, overshoots to $50 bull market, much bigger move up from $8 than gold has done. Localized highs, but who has the first localized high? Uh, in fact, it was the outright high for ARK in and around here, and that was at around $160. What happened? Bitcoin pulled back. Who had the first localized low? ARK. Then Bitcoin on the falling wedge. Bitcoin, lots of momentum, lots of hype. The growth is so extreme. Second wave pump as it starts to approach the previous high, runs previous high. In the meantime, active divergence in relative performance. ARK has already begun a series 
of lower highs and lower lows. Meanwhile, Bitcoin makes a marginally higher high. ARK continues to descend from here, bringing a very abrupt down move. This was around the 50k. We had a couple of calls here. Then this was all around the 30k where we continued to buy us to the short side and we captured that sell off. Now you had a localized high a little earlier from ARK and then you got the localized high and final high and beginning of the spill. And during that period, by the way, ARK fell quite quickly and was already making new lows at this point. Bitcoin only made a new low at this point down here. Lagging in every way to start the bull market to its final high to begin descending and making lower lows and in each continuation pattern the localized high and the eventual break followed and lagged the already high beta tech ETF of Kathy Wood that is having record withdrawals. Imagine how many people are withdrawing from crypto to out divest a failing ETF for that price to fall that far. So here we are now guys. Here we are now at the last continuation pattern. Bitcoin had a further and far more significant sell off then actually Cathy's arc it had a small uh, step down here and then continued to rally again over performance to the downside overall you can call it under performance if you want uh, much higher down leg moves than the ETF associated now that is clearly a case of arc actually serving as a lower beta in one of the highest beta tech stocks which is facing major fund withdrawals is actually in terms of Bitcoin a lower beta and as I've already demonstrated a leading proxy for the God market the most significant electronic gold so you're told Bitcoin so what do you make of that how the mighty have fallen in terms of how their price behavior is relatively performing here so i'm hoping that many of you can see this isn't manufactured detail or fact this is what is going down okay now i want to show you the others so if we accept that actually right now arc is actually a very good leading indicator for bitcoin what's coming next for arc let's have a look so we pivot to this chart to understand what might be coming next for ARK. We have to understand on a lower time frame and we're dropping the time frames now. What has actually happened since May the 12th to August the 11th? Two months weak rising wedge rally. There was the smaller wedge where Bitcoin had the, the massive down leg and ARK only just made a deeper dive. Two months weak grinding behavior. Well, uh, and I can say in that overall two month period, you're around the upper 30s and you made it a ghost over 50. You have given most of that up. 80% has been given up of those gains in a matter of less than two weeks. So this is a two day chart. So each candle, one, two days, four days, six days, eight days, 10, 12, 14, and we part of the way through another two day period. So barely over two weeks. Um, and on note the volume as well. This is showing real, real panic. The volume was moderate and people were hanging on. Then it started to get much, much more concerning. And there's been a lot of big selling days. And when you look at these green days, look at these green days, how little they've moved. You've had a period of four or five. These were two days. And you've had four or five uh, bars all green. And that was all it was able to produce in terms of a rally. This is greatly concerning. And in actual fact, the momentum and the decrease to these levels in the time frame is showing that there is more risk, more likelihood of downside continuation for ARC in the here and now than there is 
upside reality for it. And the momentum swings are strong to the downside and the absolute low was long and flat in the grinding upside. Uh, this on its own is not showing great optimism for a bottom. How does it change that? It would have to snap up super quick and hope to be a W bottom, meet a neckline there and come have a small rest, very shallow, and then create some form. And that's the only real way, and I don't see that being a particularly high probability. Then you could argue a W bottom level was put in, in and around the $50 neckline, if you were to get that. However, another week grinding in uncertainty period. So if we just do this, and a strong sell-off would set up one of our favorite continuation patterns. That is the absolute low, something very flat bottomed like that. And with, let me also just explain something. The current economic environment has never globally had so many downside risks and so much overinflated assets where a disinflationary move and an out and out full blown deflationary move could take so much hot air out of overvalued, overpriced, destined to have earnings shakeout equity markets. And that is going to be super hard. Raising interest rates environments is particularly hurtful for a high technology growth based uh, stock investment class, particularly where Cathy doubled down and went into higher beta versions and gave up the big market cap such as Tesla that she had in her portfolio. So let's have a look at a bigger time frame. How bad could it get if we accept that Bitcoin is in some form a proxy for a high beta tech stock? Only it lags. It's being dictated to by the bigger market, quite typical. And it has a, a, a much higher volatility associated with it and is late to move to the upside, overshoots, is late to recognize the downside, and as a result, uh, overshoots to the downside as well. That means the implied loss in ARC uh, from here is going to be smaller, potentially, on basis of logic and rationality and consistency, then Bitcoin will lose to the downside as the higher beta overshooting lagging asset category. Um, and remember, the alts are an even higher version of that. So it could be pure, pure carnage. At this era, 2016, the great end of the Chinese debt experiment, where we then got the unofficial Shanghai Accord, where all the central banks got together, they made for a very dovish environment. They weakened the dollar. They did a lot of supportive things that were very reflationary during that period. At that time, ARC was $14.67. It then came up to a broadening structure, which had a slight upward ascent, normally bearish. We got our events of March 2020, which you're all very familiar with now, and then the six, seven trillion mega pump that David Hunt, Hunter, David Hunter is still battling to see. There's a blow off event, he says, uh, still to come. Well, here you go. At the absolute lows, you were barely over 30 in and around, uh, just above 31, 32. You ended up at $160. How you can miss over five and a half times blow off um, brought to you courtesy of the largest stimulus ever done on a number so vast and so large that most people can't even comprehend or quantify is beyond me but it happened and he's still waiting for it uh, it's like a deaf man waiting for the mirage to do a low altitude hair over your house uh, and still wondering when it happened after all the windows are broken anyway um, that's a different point and I'm not here to sacrifice other people's reputations. I just can't comprehend it and I find the advice dangerous. The round trip blow off period that came from the hanging out at the 40k level where you were kind of trapped in the lower end uh, just below 40k and at the higher end around 50k. You had the broadening structure. You round tripped that all the way up to 160 down 
first inverted HVF in a new trend, major smash down, over performance, back down where you got back to the 30s and you are now in this structure here. Now, my key points are, if you only fell further with the rising interest rate environment, terrible for tech, as low as the Chinese uh, first weakness point in 2016, where they are now substantially worse. More information is known about the excesses that they printed, that they've done a 2008 on a scale ever larger that would embarrass Detroit, Switzerland, and everybody else who got involved in toxic assets uh, beyond all comprehension. But, and we know even more about it right now. There are bank runs. There are incomplete properties where the money has already been taken and lost. There are banks refusing to lend to essentially bankrupt, corrupted developers. Everything is out and more is getting out, although it's not getting a lot of focus in your mainstream media. Um, in my view, to only make that 2016 lows for ARC in a tightening interest rate environment would be an absolute overperformance. I could see this going sub 1467 even to zero. Um, but, you know, let's say that we have the continued interest rate environments, the dollar spike, and we get the collapse, the reset collapse, that is intended to bring in the central bank digital currencies, their larger agenda, that they've waited for the random crisis that came along to deliver them the unique opportunity for a more equitable and more environmentally friendly a uh, new world order. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that just be beautiful and out of the blue? Such opportunism, uh, you know, such quick thinking, radical concept. How amazingly communistically Bolshevik. Um, so 4059 to 1467 would represent a further 64% deval by ARC, the high beta tech ETF with the uh, sugar mommy uh, hero. Um, that has been raised on all heights uh, to all heights uh, and is now currently less popular and keeping a lower profile. How much does an overshooting higher beta crypto token called Bitcoin lose by percentage if ARK were to lose 64%? So this is guesstimation. This is scenario casting. I'm saying it will lose at least what ARK will lose to the downside because everything it is shown during this period, unless there is a break in that relationship, everything it is shown is that it will be undermined to the same degree, only more so. And the signal will come first in the ETF where the markets are more traded, more research is going on, not in the crypto markets. If we only have as bad a crisis, that takes us to 2016, and there isn't a full reset for issuing government CBDCs, which is my primary scenario, that this is going to be the worst of the worst with unhidden, untold winter of discontent, trickery, bank hacks, and many things you haven't conceptualized, including environmental close downs, crazy weather, all sorts of things, war with Taiwan, uh, Russia-Ukraine environment between China and Taiwan, etc., uh, etc., uh, potential geopolitical events of such scale that you'll be greatly distracted by what is going on financially in the world and you will then only hear every now and then um, on the financial pages of the devastation and blood in the streets. If Bitcoin lost just 64% matching only ARK's rate of loss and ARK only ran to legacy lows as per the 2016 lows, Bitcoin would lose 64% from, and I took that of 20K, it's actually below 20K at the moment, you'd be in and around the 7,200 mark. Ample scope for significantly worse. Ample scope for significantly worse for Bitcoin. And this is Maxi Payne. And this, come and hate the messenger. Come and puke in the comments. I know you're there. I know this is going to provoke you. I know all of them are going to go, yeah, 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 but and the biggest bear always at the bottom, da, 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 da. How many times have you called uh, lows when it was at the bottom? Actually, not that many. Um, but nonetheless, if you think it's over for ARC, that means you're calling that piece of price behavior a bottom. And in my world, that does not qualify as a bottom. And that elevated volume which has kicked the moving average up
from a very low level to a substantial level, there is a high amount of engagement and fear and concern about the direction of that fund right now. And if you think that is specific to that fund and is not specific to Bitcoin, who is doing all the selling in Bitcoin? Who is getting out? Who is doing all the selling? And where is all that new money, considering it's such a bargain, getting in? Because your Bitcoin chart, as we had it in the proxy, and I'll bring it on up on its own so you can see it in Bit, uh, the Bitcoin move over the same time period, has done that. Wow. And that, my friends, was 69K, and you're looking down the gun or oh, barrel of 19.7. And if this goes lower to just match ARC, and is a round trip, you'll be through the 7Ks. That's if it just matched ARC. It has never faced a tightening, a strong tightening environment since 2010, uh, its probable likely acceptable birth date, when it was started to be somewhat affected by macro, and more recently substantially affected by macro. It has never faced interest rate tightening environment of the scale that has been done. We've had 0.75s, three points at a time, at a chunk. We will wait and see what comes next. Uh, inflation is going to consistently remain uh, high for all nations and you will face the biggest problem, the tightening, the removal of liquidity. And that will see people selling off to lock in little gains or minimize losses when they need money. Job losses go will increase, unemployment will increase, cost of living will increase, cost of heating will increase, cost of food will increase, cost of fertilizer and everything will increase, delivery and driving will increase, commuting to work will increase, flying to AZ or doing anything will increase, holidays will increase, everything is going to increase and they still to filter through. Germany has paid nearly 10x on the futures markets for gas that it's yet to provide to its citizens that it will increase. British businesses have gone from two grand uh, a year to 22 grand a year. Small pubs on expected heating bills. That's a that's a pub manager's uh, base salary, uh, literally being added on. Uh, many of them will be closing. Italy are already having restaurants dinner by candlelight only and switching the lights off. Let me tell you, it hasn't even started to get cold yet in Europe. This is macro environment Bitcoin has never experienced. It can go. And then the final point that I must make is the key message I have always provided. And I say this to you guys. She was beautiful and sexy. And we banged her all ends up while the going was good. But we didn't marry her. Michael Saylor, Bitcoin Maxis married her. She has a virus. They're now pushing her in a wheelchair and they're going to bury her potentially. She's dying. Uh, and that's the difference between pragmatism and letting the charts and technical analysis dictate follow the money versus blind belief in something that made you money once and the good days are gone. The good days when she danced topless on the table for you, kept you up all goddamn night long, rewards, love, happiness and money have gone. You are seeing it in a different environment. Now she drinks too much and you're pushing her in the goddamn wheelchair and you married it. And that's your problem. And that's what you hate. And that's why you're going to hate me rather than the message, because that's pure psychology and it's natural and I accept it. Um, so we will we will muddle on despite that. So with Bitcoin in that state, in a market environment where I anticipate they will never let you have your own money. It was either captured from the very beginning or birthed for the point of training a reasonably sized segment of the population in the for future central bank digital tokens and electronic money for developing the microcosms of small businesses that will satellite around big government central bank digital tokens that will be ready to introduce the surveillance finance that are overreaching, parasitic, ursury extracting, mean, mean, genocidal, vaccine slaughtering, dark state government population management machine once. They will never, ever 
let you have your own goddamn money. Do you not understand rule number one? Bitcoin will either be forced to be adapted to comply to every aspect of surveillance finance to match that of a CBDC, or it will be allowed to fall to near zero or zero itself until it's a Tamagotchi token of minimal volume and insignificance, and you will be given the statist controlled social score surveillance finance central bank digital currency of the country of your tax residency and from there my friends you will face real-time taxation real-time surveillance social scoring and everything else the fat boy Carstens wants to bring on your head because that's what his rulers and his puppeteers want and this is the reason why bitcoin has a real risk of potential death or marginal marginalization to the fringes and if it was the real money in an environment where so many fiat currencies are failing why is it performing like a high beta lagging proxy for a failing kathy wood etf stuffed with shitty growth companies in a high uh, growing interest rate environment when you can answer me that you can reply in the comments to say that I'm a hater, a perma bear, etc. You married the girl and she's in the wheelchair now. That's it. Uh, and that's going to upset a lot of people. And I'm going to tell you how I see it. Uh, I'm afraid competition is sin in a Rockefeller world. And it either complies with everything they want and it will be surpassed by better technology even if it was made to comply to full surveillance finance and disclosure and real-time taxation and every little masturbatory high they want out of stealing from you and extracting against you and controlling you through money that is their age-old millennia trick of debt and control through money even if it complies, it can be superseded later by better technology. It'll be easier to start again than to update a creaky old ship in an environment where newer, faster ones are available. So with that, uh, fire away in those comments. Tell me what you think. But is it not the case that this chart is simply doing no better and in most cases in the bear market, ostensibly significantly worse and doing so after the tech proxy of Kathy Wood's arc has moved. That is a great shame and it puts Bitcoin at a pegging level that is great humility that most maxis will never accept. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, tell me your uh, comments in the profile below. Tell me what you see in terms of the early movement that is uh, in the arc ETF, the early highs, the divergence showing the early concern for downside and the subsequent sell-offs that prevailed after the Bitcoin super surge hopium that barely took out the previous high. Um, I'll see you in the comments. Keep it clean and tidy. I'm trying to protect people from getting absolutely wrecked. Those that are brainwashed, those that have overinvested, those that can't see any way of it happening will go down with the ships. Those that have retained some element, some element of rational thinking but are deeply committed will think and think again and maybe say it should be doing better it should be a leader not a lagger it should be not so high beta on the downside i'll catch you next time remember if you want to be part of our reset community now is the time to get out of potentially sailors great silver ships exceeding the wooden ones maybe the weapons are now magnetic driven and wood is real hard uh, and serves a better purpose than the new tech that is digitized everything and will surveillance and rat you out even when you don't even know it's happening. Maybe is now is the time to get physical. We specialize in helping people build wealth in reset times by understanding the scenarios and asking the unpopular questions and also and also by structuring so that you can keep more of your wealth arbitraging across the planet so that you can have great lifestyle, great defense and have neighbors of your choosing from our community, often in cases uh, in property areas where we can watch each other's back against overreaching enemy of libertarians, government, state and their hired hands. Till next time, I'll catch you later. This is Francis, the crypto sniper, giving you an update.